So this horse is really inexperienced. We got her about a week ago and she wasn't even halter broke. Uh, we think she's around five years old and she needs to get her hooves trimmed. At least she needs to be trained to stand for the farrier. So that's what we're going to work on today. But as you can see, just me standing here and just touching her is a little uncomfortable for her. But uh, a lot of this just close proximity is kind of what she needs right now. We're going to take our time today. The goal of today is to be able to pick up the hind feet and to just go from there. just a reaction from her being really nervous. Right now I'm just getting her used to the sensation of getting touched down here on this back right. She's doing all right. I'm sure you guys will see, she, I can almost guarantee she's going to eventually kick at uh, either this or ne the next step up from here is going to be my rope. Um, that's okay. Come closer. One thing people don't realize about uh, teaching a horse to stand for the farrier is that you are asking this horse to give up her main mechanisms of fight and flight. So what that means is that you're asking her to give up her, her weapons and, her, and the means for her to get away. So a little patience and a lot of understanding goes a long way. We're just trying to convince her right now that we're not taking them away permanently. We just need to look at them for a second. We'll give them right back. So now I would like to get a loop on this back right leg so that I can start lifting it up and holding it. I'm not quite ready just to jump under there and throw my body back there. As you can see, this horse's body language is telling us that she's quite nervous about all this. So I'm just going to quietly ask her for a little bit more and a little bit more until I feel comfortable enough to go back there. So I got to do the same thing I did with my lunge line. See how she's shaking? She doesn't like the feel of that rope. I'm just getting her used to it. I want to make this as positive of an experience as I can. And I do that by applying pressure and applying a release in a timely manner. We kind of go down the back here. It's always going to keep contact, the rope against the horse. The minute you let go, you need to realize that it's a brand new sensation when I go back and touch her. So everything's got to be slow and methodical. this down around the pastern area, kind of tighten it up, and let her just kind of feel that. I'll pick up, and if she gives me an inch, and what I mean by an inch is like that, if she let, just lifts up a tiny bit, I need to give her release. You know, we can be asking a lot right off the bat with these horses, but all I want is that much, and then she gets her reward. We'll just keep doing that over and over again until... She starts looking for that reward. One thing that's important when you're working on these hind feet and you're worried about getting hurt or kicked, stand really close to the horse. Um, if she does have a come apart when you're nice and close to her, she'll probably just push you away. 
if you're just a couple steps away, you're more likely to get uh, kicked or ran into a little bit harder than if you're just right next to her. I'm gonna keep asking her for a little bit more. Right now, my main goal is to uh, make sure that I'm the one that decides when the foot goes down. So I'll pull up and then I'm gonna gently take it down. If she tries to rip it away right now and decide it's her idea, I'm just gonna gently lift it back up and put it back down. You can see she's licking her lips. She's okay with this process. I think she's gonna pick this up pretty quick. So right now she's kind of kicking a little bit. That's okay. That's all right. She's just saying, what's going on? Why is this on my leg? And then once she relaxes, I let it on the ground, give her a big reward. I'm gonna kind of stretch it out behind her a little bit now, just so she can understand what I'm going for here. And then go down. Gently lift up, go down. You can see she's just really nervous about people in general. This is a great exercise for you horse owners out there to put a rope on the hind feet and then just ask for a little bit and then give a lot. And what I mean by a lot is let the hook down and give her a little reward. Let her think about that for a second. I'm going to go ahead and try to reach down far enough to pop this rope off. Like I said, this horse has never had any of this done to her before. It always amazes me how smart these animals are and how if you just take a little bit of extra time, you can really connect with them. Like I said, standing nice and close. I'm keeping contact with her with my other hand. I don't want anything touching her out of, a, out of surprise. I just want to keep this nice, easy, and close. I'm going to ask for a tiny bit more here. And grab onto the bottom of her hoof here. Kind of give her the sensation of what it feels like to be trimmed and shod. And then we're just going to give her a big reward because that was really good. And the big reward is putting her leg down. Coming up here, letting her know that she's doing a great job.